The challenges faced by inhabitants of New York City appear to stem from ineffective governance and policies that favor the interests of trespassers over property holders. Why can't you just change the locks? Oh, I will be arrested instantly. They turned off the hot water and then reported that they had no hot water. It's a $250 fine per day, up to $15,000, punishable by five years in jail. So here you are. You have to pay the upkeep of the house. Right. I paid and you're not getting any rent? No, I'm not getting any rent. And I'm paying the uh, gas and electric every month. Four stories repeated over and over and over again by irate and often unwitting property owners. Worry lines marking their faces who came to see Councilwoman Vicky Palladino's office desperately seeking help. Hong Chen has spent thousands trying unsuccessfully to get the squatters out of this home in Maspath. John Sokran using his pension money for expenses on this college point home he hoped would provide retirement income. And Susan Mascara, who has used up her savings paying for seven years of upkeep on this Bayside home she inherited from her mother. I'm in debt. My credit cards are pretty much maxed out. The struggles of these inhabitants can be interpreted as a failure on the part of law enforcement bodies to safeguard them against encroachments and intrusions onto their properties. Their grievances and financial burdens strongly suggest a necessity for robust legal safeguards for property owners and harsher penalties for unauthorized intruders. What is required are policy overhauls that prioritize the rights of property owners and offer more efficient avenues for resolving conflicts with intruders, including swift eviction protocols and tougher sanctions for unlawful occupancy.